Lecture number four, causative agents of supportive warrant and hospital acquired infections. Most, uh, most of all hospital acquired and warrant infections are caused by pathogenic oxy and mostly in general pathogenic staphylococci. So let's study pathogenic staphylococci. Uh, Robert Koch was the first who discovered staphylococci and uh, it was in 1878. Uh, classification, taxonomy. Staphylococci, staphylococci belong to the family Staphylococcus, genus Staphylococcus, and there are more than four, more than forty species. But the main are Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus epidermidis, Staphylococcus uh, hemolyticus, and Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Pathogen pathogenic Staphylococci is Staphylococcus aureus only. Staphylococcus aureus is one of the major human pathogens. It causes supportive lesions in different tissue, bounce infection, food poisoning, septicemia, and many other severe disorders. And Staphylococcus uh, staphylococci is, uh, a, is a very spreaded bacterium. As Staphylococci are usually representatives of normal human microflora of skin and mucosal tissue. Nevertheless, Staphylococcus epidermidis affects immunocompromised patients and patients with implanted appliances, uh, intravenous catheters, uh, drains, etc. The infection of uh, prosthetic devices can be also caused by Staphylococcus hominis and Staphylococcus hemolyticus. In rare cases, Staphylococcus saprophyticus is able to cause urinary tract infection, predominantly in young women. The rest of Staphylococcal species, uh, Staphylococcus schleiferi, Staphylococcus varneri, Staphylococcus capitis, and many others, is not regarded as a causative infection in humans. So you should understand that Staphylococcus aureus is uh, only one uh, species from genus Staphylococcus who is pathogenic. But uh, um, in uh, but often Staphylococcus aureus cause um, ca uh, carrier and uh, not cause a disease uh, when it enters to the human body. Um, but if it uh, enters to the wound, yes, it causes uh, wound infection. But if it uh, enters to the, for example, respiratory tract or uh, skin or other biotopes, it can be like transitor micro microbes like which enter and then uh, and then um, go on and then uh, go uh, go out from the body, or it can stay in the body and uh, cause a stage of carrier carriage uh, without any symptoms, but sometimes when the immune system is in uh, not good condition, uh, Staphylococcus aureus can cause infection. And also when it enters to the wound, to the wound, uh, it also causes uh, uh, infection. But uh, what about another species like epidermis, hominis, hemolyticus? They are not pathogenic, they are conditionally pathogenic. So they cause infection um, mostly in the case of immune compromised person <clears throat> and sometimes around infection. Morphology, you saw staphylococci when we, uh, when we uh, have general microbiology last term and uh, uh, you, had observed staphylococci in uh, light microscopy. So they are small spherical microbes and uh, its um, feature, uh, its peculiarity is that they are uh, usually grouped into irregular grape-like clusters, but single cells. Diplococci and short microbial chains can be readily observed. Here you can see grape-like 
clusters. This is grape-like clusters. And this is uh, single and diplococci uh, uh, cells. Under unfavorable condition may turn into L form. L form is a uh, bacterial form which uh, loses its cell wall but stay alive. They are gram positive and they belong to uh, Firmicutes order. They are non motile, they don't have any flagella and spores, but they can form microcapsula, especially in the host tissue during infection. Here you can see Staphylococcus under uh, electronic microscopy, and uh, there are Staphylococci uh, under light microscopy. <clears throat> Uh, they are not fastidious, so it is very uh, easy to uh, to grow staphylococci on the on the media, nutrient media. They usually grow on the basic nutrient media at uh, 37 degrees and pH 7.2, 7.4. During cultivation, they are capable of producing water in soluble pigments, golden. That's why they, uh, that's why it has such name. Staphylococcus aureus mean gold, golden pigments. And uh, non-pathogenic staphylococcus, they usually uh, they usually form colonies uh, colored in gray, white, yellow. In liquid nutrient media, staphylococcal cultures develop diffuse opacity. For cultivation, Staphylococcus uh, uh, egg yolk salt agar can be applied and it contains 10% of natri uh, uh, natri chloride is, um, and natri chloride inhibits the growth of con uh, con uh, contaminant bacteria. That means that uh, salt agar is um, comfortable only for Staphylococci. Uh, other bacteria can't grow on the salt agar. That's why if some something grow, uh, if, if something uh, grows on salt agar, uh, it must be staphylococci. All staphylococci produce pigmented, smooth, convex, clustering colonies of medium size. Staphylococcus aureus renders positive lecithin as activity. Uh, degrading egg yolk uh, lecithin. In most cases, other staphylococcal species don't express lecithinase. Here you can see uh, uh, egg yolk salt agar, and uh, there are a lot of colonies of staphylococcus, staphylococcus aureus, and it has uh, and and they has uh, golden pigment. They are colored in yellow. And also you can see uh, such round. This round is because of uh, producing lecithinase enzyme. Lecithinase uh, destroy lecithin, uh, which um, is a part of the egg. Egg consists lecithin. And uh, when staphylococci grow in, on the egg uh, yolk salt agar, uh, it destroy egg yolk and you can see uh, such uh, round uh, like a rainbow, something like that. <coughs> oh, <sorry. coughs> and also for biochemical differentiation, uh, manitol salt agar can be applied. Uh, and uh, uh, Staphylococcus aureus, they destroy mannitol. Uh, they, fer they fermentate mannitol, and this media uh, change uh, change its color. Uh, before uh, before plating, media is uh, colored in red, and after fermentation of mannitol. It became to change color to yellow. And uh, 
yellow color, color of manitou salt agar is a uh, uh, biochemical uh, feature of Staphylococcus aureus. Unlike Staphylococcus epidermidis and all other Staphylococci are not um, able to um, fermentate manitou. That's why they grew, they grow with a uh, with a um, red color without changing the color of the media of the manitol cell tagger. And also on the blood uh, containing media, Staphylococcus aureus uh, grow with uh, uh, hemolysis uh, because it uh, destroy erythrocytes. Uh, and other Staphylococci uh, can destroy uh, erythrocytes only Staphylococcus aureus and Staphylococcus hemolyticus. Uh, two species who, uh, two species of Staphylococci who, who can destroy erythrocytes and cause um, cause the hemolysis on the blood containing media. Okay, look at this picture. Here you can see uh, hemolytic. Uh, here you can see hemolysis with Staphylococcus aureus grow. Uh, and there, there are Staphylococcus epidermidis, non-pathogenic Staphylococcus. They grow grow with uh, no uh, any hemolysis. <coughs> so. Biochemical properties, <coughs> they are facultative anaerobes. Ferment uh, carbohydrates, yielding acid metabolites like acid without gates, utilize proteins with hydrogen sulfide production. Staphylococci, predominantly Staphylococcus aureus, uh, liquefies gelatin, coagulate milk, and reduce nitrates to nitrates. Produce catalysts uh, that differentiate them from streptococci. Coagulase production uh, distinguish Staphylococcus aureus from other members of the same genus, with a rare exception. Staphylococcus aureus uh, is coagulase positive bacteria, while other Staphylococci are coagulase negative. So the test for, for to the so to differentiate, we can use test for uh, coagulase. Activity. If we find some staphylococci, we can make a test for staphylococcus for for uh, for coagulase activity and positive uh, coagulase positive bacteria are staphylococcus aureus. And it's antigenic structure. Staphylococci possess antigenic polysaccharides and proteins in peptidoglycan of microbial cell wall and microcapsule. Uh, cell wall tachoic acid uh, carry additional antigenic determinants of staphylococci. Virulence factor. Staphylococci, they have <coughs> very strong uh, exotoxin, which uh, uh, which act as a um, membrane toxins. So they destroy membrane of the cell. Alpha, to alpha toxin can uh, have lethal serious effects. Gem damaged membranes resulting in, among other things, hemo hemolysis. And it uh, and is responsible for a form of dermatonecrosis. So alpha toxin, alpha -toxin destroy erythrocytes destroy uh, epidermidis cell, uh, epidermal cell. Leco-CTD, damage macrophage and macrophage by degranulation. Uh, exfoliatins are responsible for a form of epidermolysis. So they say uh, can especially destroy epidermal cell. Toxic shock syndrome, toxin one is produced by about 1% of Staphylococcus strains. TSST1 is a super antigen that induces clonal, clonal expansion of many T lymphocyte types, leading to massive production of cytokines, which then give rise to the clinical symptoms of toxic shock. So, <coughs> uh, 
from <clears throat> immunology, you should know that there is uh, that there are uh, T lymphocytes. T lymphocytes they can be T helpers and T uh, killers. Uh, T helpers they uh, have a work to uh, to uh, interact with the uh, antigen presenting cell and interact with the uh, effector cell. And they uh, show antigen from uh, antigen presenting cell to the uh, effector cell like B cell and T killers. And T helpers are the most active cell in the immune system and they interact with another cell by the receptors and by the cytokines. Cytokines, they involve in the process of inflammation. And uh, cytokines is a part of, um, of immune defense. But when uh, there are a lot of cytokines, it is not good for organism. It is uh, it's a condition which can lead to the toxic shock because uh, a lot of cytokines, it's uh, like a, a lot of toxins. So uh, this TSST1 toxin is a super antigen which can cause uh, hyperactivation of T helpers and leads to hyperproduction of uh, cytokines and leads to the toxic shock. <clears throat> and also Staphylococcus aureus synthesized more than 10 variants of heat stable enterodox causing food poisoning. Uh, they are resistant to intestinal proteolytics enzymes. Enterotoxins show high bi biological capacity, active in great subset of type T lymphocytes. They later is followed by the uh, redundant uh, pro-inflammatory cytokine production by T cell and microphage. Cytokines re release provoke systemic inflammation with uh, several tissue damage. Enterotoxins affect mostly the gastrointestinal tract that result in vomiting and diarrhea. So in the block of uh, acute intestinal infection, we uh, regard a lot of bacteria who can cause diarrhea and vomiting and uh, infection of gastrointestinal tract, but uh, there is also Staphylococcus aureus who can cause uh, food poisoning. And that means that the um, Poisoning is uh, because of uh, toxin action, not because of action of uh, Staphylococcus, only because of its enterotoxin. And its enterotoxin is not like uh, enterotoxin of Salmonella or uh, E. coli. It uh, does not uh, interact with saltwater wells but it uh, also works like a super antigen. It causes hyperactivation of T cell and hyperproduction of uh, cytokines. But the difference be between enterotoxin and TSST is because of, of enterotoxin acts only in gastrointestinal tract and causes inflammation in gastrointestinal tract and leads to vomiting and diarrhea. Please remember. <clears throat> Staphylococcus exfoliative toxin. Exfoliatins are absorbed from the skin primary infection site and carried by the bloodstream to the large areas of the skin. They, <coughs> they destroy deep cellular layer of the epidermis resulting in staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome. Uh, this disease affects mainly newborn infants and may be fatal. More than 15% of skin area can be damaged. The skin becomes red, wrinkled, and large blisters filled with the clear fluid arise. General symptoms such as malaise and fever also essential for the disease specific antitoxin antibody can prevent syndrome of syndrome development. So exfoliative toxins, they are responsible for staphylococcal scalded skin syndrome in, in infant, in newborns. 
And this toxin is uh, uh, destroy uh, skin, is uh, destroy uh, epidermal tissue, and uh, and it can be um, spread uh, by blood uh, through the other skin areas. Also, it can have produce protein E is anchored within the cell wall of most Staphylococcus aureus strain. It binds to the FC portion of immunoglobulin mole molecules. Protein A is considered to hinder the complement activation and immunoglobulin G binded, uh, binding to the immune cell. Capsule of uh, Staphylococcus aureus supports microbial survival of these phagocytes. So look like, look on this uh, page, and there you can see how many virulence factors um, do Staphylococcus aureus. Uh, have uh, so um, adhesins, adhesins, fibrinogen binding proteins, and also uh, protein A to uh, to contact with immunoglobulin A and uh, uh, neutralize immunoglobulin A uh, action ex exoenzymes like protease, like hyaluronidase, like fibrin, uh, fibrinolysine, also toxins, alpha toxin, look on this page, they destroy the membrane of the erythrocytes, they destroy uh, erythrocytes. And enterotoxins, they uh, activate uh, T helpers, and it help us start to produce a lot of cytokines and cytokines, um, cytokines act like a toxins in the human body. <coughs> Except, uh, and uh, also um, staphylococci, also they have some um, enzymes and they are coagulase, is capable of converting serum thrombin into thrombin that activates blood coagulation with fibrin clotting. Fibrin threads on the microbial surface allow staphylococci to avoid phagocyte attachment. So coagulase is for prevention of phagocytosis. Staphylokinase activates plasmin gene, thereby promoting fibrinolysis fibrinolysis of blood close with, uh, uh, within uh, one or two days. So uh, they, uh, they destroy uh, fibrin. And uh, you know that uh, uh, in the human body, fibrin is able to uh, block some part of the human body to, to prevent the spreading of microorganisms. By, by fibrin production, human bodies try to prevent uh, spreading of bacterial infection. But staphylococci, uh, they can destroy fibrin and spread. Hyaluronic days or spreading factor that breaks down hyaluronic acid of connective tissue that facilitates microbial invasion. Lecithinase hydrolyzes the lecithin, phospholipid component of cellular membranes, and beta lactamase break down the bones within the beta lactam ring, causing microbial uh, susceptibility to beta lactam antibiotics. Only special uh, designed beta lactam drugs, uh, methicillin, oxycillin, several cephalosporins. <coughs> And carbapenems overcome beta lactamase action. So beta lactamase, it's an enzyme who destroy action of beta lactam antibiotics. Methicillin resistant Staphylococcus aureus (MRCA). It's a strain of Staphylococcus aureus that has developed through natural selection or acquired through horizontal gene transferring. 
are multiplied drug resistant to beta lactam antibiotics. Beta lactam antibiotics are a broad spectrum group that include some penems, penicillin, derivatives such as meticillin and oxacillin, and uh, CFRM such as cephalosporides. <coughs> MRCA <coughs> is common in hospitals, prisons, and nursing homes where people with open with open bounds, invasive devices such as catheters and weakened immune system are at greater risk of hospital acquired infection. <coughs> uh, here you can see usual staphylococcus aureus, and you can see uh, good susceptibility for antibiotics. You can see big uh, uh, round uh, of antibiotic uh, sensitivity. So bacteria can't grow nearby the antibiotic disc. But here you can see uh, strains of Staphylococcus aureus methicillin resistant, MRCA. And you can see that uh, they are susceptible only for one antibiotics, and other antibiotics are not uh, are not uh, uh, act on this on this strain. And also, uh, now we uh, to, now we have not only Staphylococcus aureus methicillin resistant, not only MRCA, and also we have MRCE. MRC, it's a methicillin resistant Staphylococcus epidermis. And it has uh, such uh, type of antibiotic resistance as a MRCA. But it is not Staphylococcus aureus, it's a Staphylococcus epidermis. That's why MRCE. Uh, resistant, uh, propagate in 10% uh, sodium chloride medium, resistant to drying, freezing, heating, may maintain the uh, viability for more than one hour and uh, 70 degrees and some chemical substance, substance moving rapidly inactivates microbial cells. Also, staphylococci are sensitivity to chloride contain uh, disinfectants and certain aniline dyes. Uh, Staphylococcus aureus uh, can cause uh, inflammation in any tissue. It's possible it able to infect any tissue. That's why we have a lot of nosological form of staphylococcal infection. <coughs> Staphylococcus aureus is one of commonest opportunistic, opportunistic infection, hospital and community. They can cause abscess, uh, they can cause tissue infection, skin infection, like, uh, um, uh, like frun, cool carbon, cool uh, flick bone, abscess. Um, tissue destruction, cutaneous infection, endocarditis, pneumonia, MPM, osteomyelitis, sepsis, sepsis, arthritis, and many others, many other uh, nosological forms. So it can cause the infection of any localization. <coughs> <coughs> Pathogenated. <coughs> Large number of mammalian species, including human sufferers from staphylococcal infection. Uh, also, I can say that <coughs> animal, like dogs, cows, cats, and other, they also suffer uh, from staphylococcal infection. Uh, <coughs> Staphylococcus epidermidis and Staphylococcus saprophyticus are the representatives of the normal flora of human skin and respiratory tract, you know. <clears throat> there are a lot of carriage of 
staphylococcus aureus in uh, nasal cavity. About 40 and 50 percent of humans are staphylococcus aureus nasal carriage. Uh, staphylo uh, staphylococcus aureus cause local and generalized invasive infection. Staphylococcus enters the host through the skin and mucous tissue that is followed by local microbial propagation. Finally, they can overcome tissue barriers and infect, it and infect the blood. Staphylococcus aureus can cause or participate in supportive local lesions of all body tissue, frunculus, boils, carbunculus, paronychia, hydradenides, chronic pyoderma, abscesses and plegmons, periostitis, and etc. <laughs> Causes pneumonia, peritonitis, and meningitis, as well as uh, postoperative found infection. Almost all of this situation can progress toward uh, disseminated infection resulting in staphylococcal septicemia when bacteria goes to the blood. Staphylococcus aureus take an active participation in mixed infection. So they can um, mixed with another bacterial infection. Staphylococcal food poisoning appears after ingestion of foodstuff, dairy products, cakes, pastry, ice cream, contaminated with pathogenic bacteria. <laughs> And the food poisoning they reveals very quickly, more quickly than uh, uh, than acute uh, bacterial infection, because uh, in the pathogen pathogenesis uh, take part only a bacterial toxin and it uh, causes the manifestation very quickly, uh, because when uh, because in the case of um intestinal infection, it is necessary to adhesion, colonization, multiplying of causative agent of bacterial um, pathogen. And it takes time. But uh, in the case of food poisoning, it is necessary only one route when bacteria enter to the food and produce a lot of toxin. And when somebody eats this products which contain of uh, staphylococcal and toxin. They eat this toxin and this toxin enter to the intestinal and start to uh, act. That's why the manifestation uh, will be very quickly. Uh, scalded skin syndrome and tox toxic short, uh, shock syndrome results from infection causes by partic particular toxin produ producing strain of staphylococci. Antitoxic antibodies that appears in staphylococcal toxic infection can neutralize toxin action. Staphylococcus aureus and staphylococcus epidermidis are from the most common causative agent of hospital acquired infection. Please remember, the majority of staphylococcal infection are shown to trigger uh, only low-grade immune response of short duration. Phagocytosis is considered to be the substantial mechanism for staphylococcus elimination. So please look at this uh, slide. Uh, when staphylococci enter to the human body, they do adhesion and colonization and then what they can do. They can cause activation of T lymphocytes and they start to produce a lot of um, a lot of um, cytokines and uh, do inflammation and uh, membrane toxin who destroys the cell and uh, also it can avoid host immune response by protein A, capsule, coagulase, clamping factor. <coughs> and also they can destroy, uh, destroy tissue by their uh, enzymes.
that's why we we can see destroying the cell so inflammation uh, destroying tissue and uh, generalization spreading from the from, to the blood stream <clears throat> Laborative diagnosis of staphylococcal infection. Specimens are obtained from pus, bone, discharge, tracheal, aspirate, spinal fluids, sputum, urine, blood, etc. It depends on infection localization. So if we have um, if we have um, pneumonia, you should take sputum. If you have urinary tract infection, you should take urine. If you have sepsis, you should take blood. So it consists on localization. It depends on localization. Microscopy is used as a preliminary test to validate staphylococcus infection. Gram stain smear examination usually reveals gram positive coxy arranged into the grape like cluster or settled separately. But microscopy, can be applied in the case of uh, a sterile fluid. So you know that blood in normal condition must be sterile. And for example, spinal fluid must be sterile. If you take spinal fluid, you can, um, you can stain it by grime staining and uh, make a light microscopy. If you have, if you see any bacteria in spinal fluid, it means that there is a bacterial infection. And if you can see gram positive cocci arranged into grape like clusters in the spinal fluid fluid under the light microscopy, you can consider uh, staphylococci infection. But in the case of uh, wound infection. Uh, in the case of throat infection, in the case of pneumonia, you can't apply microscopy because in this material will be a lot of another bacteria who who are the part of normal microflora. So it, th this method will not work. This method can uh, make a pre uh, um, can be applied in the case of uh, sterile material which must be sterile and if you find any bacteria it uh, uh, means that there is bacterial infection um, the main method of diagnosis diagnosis is bacteriological is cultural isolation also we can use uh, pcr like a rapid differential diagnosis but <coughs> but pcr <coughs> can show the antibiotic uh, resistance, can show. And uh, that's why <clears throat> cultural isolation is uh, uh, one of the basic uh, method of diagnosis. When you take material, plate it, and uh, <clears throat> get pure culture, and identify pure culture, and then make a antibiotic resistant test and the phagotyping test. Uh, MRCA staphylococcus can be determined by PCR only, but either susceptibility to antibiotic is not uh, available for PCR test. Okay, uh, here you can see the features, uh, diagnostic features, and uh, um, differ difference between uh, main uh, species of staphylococci. Uh, here you can see how to differentiate a staphylococci uh, in a bacteriological cultural method. So part of pathogenic staphylococcus aureus, it have positive reaction with catalase, it make a um, hemolysis on the blood containing media, 
it uh, coagulates positive and also it um, fermentate manitol on man on manitol salt tiger. Treatment. <clears throat> Uh, most suitable for staphylococcal uh, infection is uh, antibiotics who destroy cell wall. Uh, most of staphylococcus aureus is late produce beta lactamase, thus conferring resistance on penicillin G or amoxicillin. Beta lactamase it's an enzyme which destroys beta uh, lactam round of beta lactam antibiotics. Therefore, beta lactamase resistant penicillins uh, like uh, oxacillin or meticillin and cephalosporins, as well as carpapenems, are used here for antibacterial therapy. Um, beta lactamase resistant is an antibiotic who are not uh, sensitive for action of beta lactamase. Enzyme. Beta lactamase is an enzyme which produced by Staphylococcus aureus to destroy antibiotics. So, if we find bacteria, if we find Staphylococcus aureus who has uh, beta lactamase, you should use uh, beta lactamase resistant uh, antibiotics like oxacillin and meticillin. In combination with antibiotics, a specific anti, uh, inhibitors of beta lactamase, clavulanic acid, give additionally beneficial effect for treatment. For treatment, um, MRCA and MRCE, other uh, inhibition of cell wall synthesis glycopeptides like uh, vancomycin and tacoplakin are used. They should be administered in combination with antibiotics antibiotics blocking microbial protein synthesis like amine glucosides, microlytes, lincosamides, and tetracyclides, and linezolid. In case of chronic staphylococcal infection, especially in immune-compromised patients and infants, the specific passive immune therapy can be administered anti-staphylococcal globulin. For activation of anti staphylococcal immunity, data of soy derived from staphylococcus aureus alpha toxin can be administered as well. Okay. Pathogenic streptococci. They um, also uh, were spreaded as uh, staphylococci, and they can cause a lot of type of well, human infection. And uh, Bill Roth was the first who described streptococci uh, in patients with wound infection. Uh, they belong to the fa uh, family Streptococcaceae, genus Streptococcus, and also there is a genus Enterococcus. Uh, streptococcus genus, it uh, has uh, a few species, and the main are Streptococcus pyogenes, Streptococcus agalactia and Streptococcus pneumonia. <clears throat> Opportunistic pathogenic Enterococcus fecal and Enterococcus fetum are the main representatives of gene Enterococcus. Morphology. They are also gram positive, called coxy, and they are not big, mm, usually clusters into chain or pairs. Non-motile, uh, don't um, uh, form the spore. Uh, the cell um, possesses pili, contain M protein and lipotechoic acid, and Streptococcus pneumonia, it uh, can produce uh, a capsule in the human, in the host uh, body. Uh, so, Streptococcus pneumonia, it's um, oval uh, to lancet shaped cell. Lancet. Lancet, it's a, uh, from the Latin, uh, this word means tails, tails. And uh, uh, this means that this cell is like a round with the tails. And uh, usually 
they are arranged in the pile and also they produce a thick capsule. They surrounded by a thick capsule. Here you can see capsule, not covered. And they uh, cultivation, uh, they uh, require blood, serum, sugar uh, to grow up. On solid media streptococci develop small, gray, transparent colonies. Uh, to differenti differentiate staphylococci and streptococci of the media, you can uh, compare its uh, size. Uh, Staphylococci, they, they form big colonies, but streptococci, they uh, form small colonies. Uh, they grow in the sugar broths, appears as fine, precipitate near the walls and bottom of the test tubes. Many strains are hemolytic. And by type of hemolysis, all streptococci are divided to the three groups. Alpha, alpha hemolysis, colonies on blood agar are surrounded by a green zone. This is green is caused by um, uh, peroxide, uh, um, this greening is caused by uh, hydrogen peroxide, which converts hemoglobin into metoglobin. metoglobin. Uh, into the met, uh, met hemoglobin, and that's why green uh, color is appeared. It is not full hemolysis. Uh, but the hemolysis colonies on blood agar are surrounded by a large yellowish hemoly hemolytic zone in which no more intact erythrocytes are present and uh, the hemoglobin is decomposed. See hemolysis um, or gamma hemolysis. This illogical term indicates the absence of microscopically visible hemolytic zone. So, alpha is a greening hemolysis with, with uh, formation of met hemoglobin. And alpha hemolysis is usual for streptococcus pneumonia and for streptococcus, non-pathogenic streptococcus. Um, beta hemolysis with uh, full destroying of uh, erythrocytes. You can see uh, the, um, um, you can see Uh, you can see that agar uh, became transparent and all blood is destroyed. This is a beta hemolysis and beta hemolysis is usual for streptococcus pyogenes and streptococcus agalacti. And gamma or C uh, hemolysis, it's an absence of hemolysis. Biochemical properties, Facultatively anaerobic or air tolerant, ferment carbohydrates uh, with the acid formation without gaze. Lack of proteolytic activity can liquify gelatin and don't reduce nitrites into nitrates. If you remember, uh, stagylococci, they, they liquify gelatin and reduce nitrates to, into nitrates. Streptococci also are catalyzed negative bacteria when uh, staphylococci Staphylococci are catalyzed positive. But enterococci reveal minor catalyzed activity. Also, enterococci easily grow in the presence of bile and 6.5% uh, of natric chlor, hydrolyzed exulin that distinguish that, them from streptococci. Streptococci possess a great number of antigenic determinants using the cell wall and capsule, which are of oligosaccharide and protein nature. Group specific polysaccharide antigen of the cell wall are thermostable and contain different sites 
residues of amine sugar and the acid. Aim protein of for groups A um, biogenesis is presented uh, of streptococcus biogenesis is presented in more than 80 structural variants. It is uh, heat and acid label substance. So by a protein, uh, all streptococcus are divided into the serra groups, A, B, C, D, and other. T protein and R protein present some other streptococcal surface antigens. They can be used for further differentiation, differentiation of streptococci. P substance is a nucleoprotein fraction which is common in most hemolytic streptococci. And there is a serological group division proposed by Lansfield. Uh, many streptococci and uh, enterococci have a polymeric carbohydrate C substance in their cell wall called the Lansfield antigen. They are classified in Lansfield groups A, B, based on variation in the antigenicity of the, this antigen. Uh, Spogenesis pertains to group A, streptococci of A group, and further divided into more than uh, 80, 18 serotypes due to the structural difference on their main protein antigen. C, uh, streptococcus agalactia is a member of group B, or oral streptococcus, uh, streptococcus sanguis is revealed with group H, and streptococci belong to the group D. Streptococcus pneumonia and viridans streptococci are beyond of Lancelot classification because they don't have C uh, antigen. And streptococcus pneumonia is subdivided into more than uh, 90 serotypes and the basis of specific capsular carbohydrate antigen. So uh, <coughs> Lancelot classification is because of uh, specific carbohydrate, which presents in the cell wall of streptococci, streptoco and it calls Lansfield antigen or C antigen. And by this antigen, all streptococci are divided into the serogroups groups, A, B, C, D, and other. And uh, medical significance uh, has only serogroups groups A, B, uh, H and D, because streptococci group A is a streptococcus pyogenes, streptococcus uh, from group, group B it's a streptococcus agalactia, streptococcus group H it's a uh, streptococcus fucose caries, and uh, streptococcus group D it's a enterococcus. But uh, streptococcus pneumonia is beyond this classification because they don't have uh, C substance. They don't have lens of antigen. So, streptococcus group uh, A group, streptococcus A, it says streptococcus pyogen. They cause freak, they, it's a frequent pathogen, uh, frequent pathogen in human invasive infection. Uh, streptococcus from group B, the streptococcus agalactia, B streptococci. So you can find um, in another literature or maybe in the medical article uh, such name, B streptococci or A streptococci. If you find A streptococci, it means uh, streptococcus pyogenes. If you find, uh, if you meet streptococcus B, it means streptococcus agalactia. And streptococcus agalactia, it's a causative agent of um, neonatal infection, usually heart infection like uh, sepsis and meningitis. Violence factor. They have fimbria, protein F for attachment and adherence, and protein to resistance to phagocytosis, hyaluronic acid capsule prevents also phagocytosis, lipidicoic acid adhere, adheres to the molecules of the host epithelial cell. <coughs> and proteins, uh, fibre to adherence, lipidicoic acid to, to adherence, capsule to protect phagocytosis. 
and uh, M brought a little bit of fluid, brought an F also for adherence and uh, toxic, toxins, exotoxin, they also destroy the membrane and invasions, streptolysine, streptokinase, protease, enzyme for uh, invade. Okay. Streptolysine or streptolysine S destroys the membranes of erythrocytes and other cells. Streptolysine or acts as an antigen. Past infection can be detected by measuring in antibodies to the cystoxin. Pyrogenic streptococcal exotoxin, PSE, ABC, is possible for fever, scarlet fever, exantem, and enantem. Sepsis, septic shock, the pyrogenic exotoxin are super antigen and therefore induce production of large amounts of cytokines. Streptokinase dissolves dissolve fibrin, facilitates spread of streptococci in tissue. Hyaluronidase breaks down a substance that uh, cements tissue together. Uh, DNA is breakdown of DNA, producing granny pass. Uh, capsule protects from phagocytosis. Uncapsulated variants are not capable for, of ca causing disease. Polysaccharide capsule protects bacteria from phagocytosis and oxygenization. Membrane affecting exotoxin, pneumalysine. Pneumococcal C surface from the cell wall, decoic acid activates complement system and triggers host inflammatory response. Immunoglobulin A protease, <coughs> suppressing <coughs> mucosal immunity. Resistant. They are not highly resistant bacteria. Can rise, withstand low temperature and survive for months in process cooking. Killed at temperature of uh, 70 degrees within one hour. Conventional dis uh, disinfectant readily destroy them. Phenol concentration of 3,5 inactivated bacteria in 15 minutes. Uh, streptococcal pyogenes, they uh, invade uh, via skin or mucose and goes to the uh, host organism and they can cause local infection like epidigo, erysperase, cellulitis, yeah, lymphangitis, uh, synovitis, or dysmediate, also tonsillitis. A lot of tonsillitis are because of streptococcus pyogenes. And uh, if, um, if bacteria produce PSE toxin, it can cause scarlet fever, toxic tonsillitis. Um, also, it can cause generalized invasive, uh, generalized invasive infection like sepsis, sepsis, shock, necrolytic facilities. And also it can cause silent infection, like a carriage stage. Okay, streptococci, they can cause uh, local or uh, generalized uh, toxic infection. Local infection, uh, streptococcal pharyngitis or sore throat, streptococcal pyoderma, uh, erysipelase, cellulitis, bound infection, and some other. These disorders can be followed by serious complications such as streptococcal pneumonia, meningitis infection, acute in uh, subacute endocarditis with possible fatal outcome. Toxic and invasive streptococcal infection involves scarlet fever, necrotizing facilities, facilities, <coughs> filterable fever, streptococcal toxic shock syndrome, and septicemia. Non uh, separative sequel uh, of uh, streptococcal infection include post tetacocal acute, uh, glomerulonephritis, and rheumatic fever. Uh, the infections are transmitted by air droplet, road by direct contact through skin, lesions, etc. Scarlet fever is called by group A streptococcus C that produce streptococcal pyrogenic exotoxin A, B, and C. The symptoms result from uh, systemic toxin action. They involve fever, Generalized rash, bright strawberry tone, 
skin desquamation. The disease profoundly affects cardiovascular system, especially liquid circulation. Uh, and um, after scarlet fever, um, antitoxic immunity uh, is formed. And uh, that means that a uh, person can uh, ill with scarlet fever only one time in a life because of antitoxic uh, immunity. After streptococcal infection, you can you can uh, take uh, antibacterial immunity, strong, strong antibacterial immunity, because uh, because immunity is a uh, type of spe specific, so uh, immunity only by one type, and there are a lot of serotype. That's why immunity against bacteria you can't uh, you can't get, but immunity against uh, pyrogenic exotoxin. Uh, you can uh, person person can get uh, in the result of uh, uh, infection, and it will protect an antibody against pyrogenic exotoxin. Will protect against this toxin uh, next time. And uh, streptococci are associated with uh, autoimmune disorders like. Uh, uh, like um, continuous of disease. Tetracocos M protein renders antigen mimicry with host cardiac and skeletal myosin, uh, trompo, uh, tropomyosin, laminin, keratin, and other substance. T cell cross react with the streptococcal antigen and cardiac tissue. Subsequent immune complex disposition induced complement activation. This autoimmune mechanism leads to profound host tissue lesion. Uh, streptococcal M proteins is look like a um, uh, host antigen. So it's mimicry to the host antigen. And uh, this is necessary for having uh, time to multiply when human system thinks that it is not streptococci, it's a host cell. But then immune system recognize this antigen and uh, start to uh, start to work like uh, immune defense, but after out, out but after streptococci infection, this uh, system is um, is uh, start to work against uh, the host cell. So um, they are say. Uh, T cells, for example, and antib antibodies, they are sensitive for M protein of streptococci, but, but M protein is look like a host cell antigen. And when all M proteins are um, eliminated from organism, immune system continue to work, but uh, it uh, is aggressive against host cell. And this is autoimmune disorders. Streptococcus pneumonia or pneumococcus. The major causative agent of community acquired pneumonia. Uh, the natural habitant of uh, pneumococci is provided by the mucosa of upper respiratory tract. About 40, 70 of healthy adults are carriers. Pneumococcal infection usually Arrive, arise from this normal flora, endogenous, endogenous infection, not exogenous. <laughs> Predisporing factors include primary cardiopulmonary disease, previous infection, like virus, viral infection, influenza, and extirpation of the spleen or complement system defects. <coughs> the most important pneumococcal infection are global pneumonia and bronchial pneumonia. Streptococcus pneumonia plays a substantial role, role in etiology of sinusitis, acute otitis, media, and bacterial meningitis in adults and, ch and children. Post-streptococcal immunity, usual type specific, and there, there is a lot of type. That means that this immunity is not work. 
It doesn't prevent the reinfection with another type of bacteria. Hypersensitivity uh, reactions are shown to be common in most of streptococcal infections. But you should uh, remember that immunity uh, after scarlet fever is antitoxic and it, it is a defense against new scarlet fever infection. Cultivation. Cultivation is um, also the main um, the main uh, microbiological uh, method to diagnosis and for cultivation it is necessary to use <clears throat> black agar and uh, and um, if we have better hemolytic uh, streptococci uh, we think about streptococcus uh, a or Streptococcus B, Streptococcus um, pyogenic or Streptococcus agalactia. And to differentiate Streptococcus agalactia and Streptococcus pyogenic, you should use spot citrazine test. If it is possible, it, it is the Streptococcus pyogenes. If it is negative, it's a Streptococcus agalactia. In the case of uh, alpha hemolysis, you should think about Streptococcus pneumonia and other non pathogenic alpha hemolytic streptococci. To differentiate, uh, you should use optahin disc and disc with Billy. And positive reaction means that uh, this is streptococcus pneumonia. Negative means that it's other non-pathogenic. Non okay. Um, Enterococcus fetsum. Enterococcus fetsum is belong to the family uh, Streptococcus, uh, genus, uh, genus Enterococcus, and uh, there are Streptococcus fetsum, <coughs> and fecalis. Uh, Enterococcus fetsum is a gram positive, uh, gamma hemolytic, or non hemolytic bacterium. It can be common cell coexisting organism in the gastrointestinal tract of humans and animals, but also it may be the pathogenic causative, uh, causing uh, disease such as neonatal meningitis or endocarditis, most commonly involved in immunocompromised It often exhibits a resistance to beta-lactam antibiotics, including penicillin and other last resort antibiotics. There has also been a rise in vancomycin resistant enterococci. Uh, this vancomycin resistant strain display a profound ability to develop and share the resistance through the horizontal gene transfer, as well as code for virulence factors that control phenotypes. <coughs> These virulence phenotypes range from thicker biofilms to allowing them to grow in a variety of environments, including medical devices such as urinary catheters and pro prosthetic heart valves within the body. The thicker biofilms act as a mechanical and biochemical shield. That protect the bacteria from the antibiotics and are the most effective protective mechanisms that bacteria have against treatment. So you should know what you should know about Enterococcus fetsum. Usually, it's a commensal bacteria who can live in human gastrointestinal and urinary tract of human and animals, but sometimes they can cause very hard, very strong uh, hospital acquired infection because of its ability to be unsuspectable for antibiotics, for many antibiotics. And also they can, uh, they can exchange uh, this gene of antibiotic resistance between other bacteria. Here you can see uh, micro light microscopy, they are gram positive, uh, uh, usually like uh, diplococci, and uh, uh, enterococci and staphylococci are uh, in the group of escape pathogen. 
what is escape pathogen? And the most serious life-treating uh, infection are caused by a group of drug-resistant bacteria. <clears throat> uh, infection disease society of America, IDSA, and uh, World uh, Healthcare Organization, WHO, has labeled the escape pathogen because they effectively escape the effects, effects of antibacterial drugs. ESCAPE is an acronym compromising uh, the sci scientific names of six highly virulent and antibiotic resistant bacteria pathogens. So ESCAPE is a E, Enterococcus fetsum, S, Staphylococcus aureus, K, Klebsiella pneumonia, A, Acinetobacter baumani, P, uh, P Pseudomonas aeruginosa, E, Enterobacter species. So you can see in this group uh, causative agent of plaque or anthrax and other um, angry microbes. <coughs> but um, escape, it's a really dangerous microorganism because uh, they are very spritzed and they can <coughs> Uh, and they can overcome the action of all antibiotics. So we can treat escape infection. You should know it. Okay. Treatment. Um, <coughs> um, but the hemolytic group as the are sensitive to penicillin, microlytes, and azolytes. Early treatment of uh, streptococcal infection with penicillin interrupts autoimmune response against streptococcal antigens, thus preventing post streptococcal glomerulonephritis and rheumatic fever. Benzoin, penicillin, or ampicillin remain the drugs of choice for treatment of uh, pneumococcal diseases caused by fully sensitive pneumococcal isolates. But penicillin resistant strain gradually arises. Enterococcus, uh, fetsum, and fecalis is extremely resistant to many antibiotics. The bacteria display in interesting resistance to most of beta-lactams, including cephalosporins. Also, they are resistant to sulfonylamides uh, and develop medium resistance to fluorocanalones and aminoglycosides. So it's a very difficult task to treat uh, escape infection, which causes enterococcus. Specific prophylactics. Uh, there are two vaccines against pneumococcal infection. Pneumococcal conjugate vaccine containing antigen of 13 bacterial types and pneumococcal polysaccharide vaccine against 23 types of uh, pneumococci. Um, uh, this vaccine uh, successfully prevents the development of uh, heart pneumococcal infection like uh, low bulb pneumonia, uh, like uh, meningitis, um, sepsis. So you should understand this uh, vaccine is uh, prevent children and uh, old people for heart uh, strong uh, pneumococcal disease. Pathogenic pseudomonas and other non fermenting gram negative bacteria. Um, classification um, aerobic non fermenting gram negative bacteria. Compromise a group of pathogens that hold the leading position and causative agent of human hospital acquired or nosocomial infection. These bacteria belong to the related microbial families Pseudomonadaceae, Xanthomonadaceae, Maraxillaceae, and Burholderiaceae. 
pseudomonas aeruginosa, acinata bacter baumani, and so sten, uh, stenotrophomonas maltophila demonstrate the highest clinical uh, relevance, provoke several complications, supportive and bound infection in patients of intensive care units, bone centers, and surgery department. Moreover, all of them demonstrate the extreme levels of resistance of, uh, of antimicrobial agents. Classification. Um, so, main significance is family Pseudomonasaceae, genus Pseudomonas and Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and family Moraxalaceae, genus Acinetobacter, Acinetobacter mamani, and um, Boili. Uh, Pseudomonas aeruginos uh, normally it's a saprophytic microbe that can be formed on human skin and mucosal tissue, but it causes serious outbreaks of nosocomial infection, especially in patients with suppressed immunity. Pseudomonas aeruginos are small gram negative growth, single non sporoforming, motile with polar flagellum. Multiply pili and fimbria promote microbial attachment to epithelial cell. Multiplied mucoid strains typically isolated from uh, patients with cystic fibrosis produce large amount of uh, alginate except polysaccharides that enwraps bacterial cell. Pseudomonas grow well on basic nutrient media. Pseudomonas aeruginosa can propagate at 42 degrees. During cultivation, Pseudomonas aeruginosa displays smooth or mucoid, round greenish colonies. And uh, greenish, it's a Pseudomonas aeruginosa, a special pigment. The color, color of colonies results from overproduction of fluorescent bluish pigment, POCN. Opsiodomona that's actively from biofilms at adjunct surfaces due to the uh, extensive production of adhesive exopolysaccharides. Certain pseudomonas aeruginosa isolates can cause hemolysis. Selective media for culture of pseudomonas aeruginosa contain various substances that support selective role of pseudomonas. Biochemical properties of pseudomonas are obligate aerobes, they don't ferment glucose, bacteria produce oxidase and catalase. You can see how bacteria grows on the Miller Hilton agar, and green pigment is the main feature of Pseudomonas aeruginosa growing. Uh, it has uh, group specific somatic O antigen and flagella H antigen. Uh, viral fact factors process the structure types of one, two, three, and uh, uh, six secretion systems that deliver virulence process into affected cell, multiply adhesins, promote tight microbial attachment to the cell and tissue. Bacterial exopolysaccharides protect bacteria from part of from phagocytosis and creates a round of biofilm formation. Cell wall lipopolysaccharide possess endotoxin activity. Pseudomonas aeruginosa synthesizes exotoxin A, which blocks protein synthesis by liberalization of cellular elongation factor. Exotoxin, which inhibits separation of cell after the division cytokinesis, thereby grossly harping the voluntary healing. Chemolysins directly damage cell membranes of uh, erythrocytes. Uh, the variety of aggressive enzymes enzymes called guinease, elastase, protease, which destroy connective tissue. Pseudomonas aeruginosa has remarkable and highly versatile mechanism of natural multi-drug resistance to antibiotic, antiseptics, and disinfectants. For instance, primary mechanism of resistance rest on extremely poor permeability of bacteria LPS from beta lactam antibiotics. They transport across the cell wall is possible only through the pouring channels within bacteria and well. Frequent mutation of pouring proteins lead to blockage of beta lactam entry into microbial cells. So they close the door and uh, antibiotics can and can't enter. Pseudomonas aeruginosa express beta lactams enzymes. 
who destroy beta lactam uh, antibiotics. Resistant. It stay variable in the tap water for two uh, and a half months. In distilled water, up to one year. In home dust for several days. Can survive even in diluted disinfectants such as quarterly ammonium compounds. As the bacterium is resistant to many antibiotics and antiseptics. Uh, Pseudomonas and uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa. It's a uh, um, it's a um, very big uh, problem for uh, medicine. It remains sensitive to chlorine containing biocides and to uh, two percent phenol solution. Similarly, the cell, the cell of Pseudomonas aeruginosa, easily loses the viability under the routine sterilization by heating or outer cloud. Pathogenesis and clinical findings. Pseudomonas are widely disturbed in nature. They inhabit in soil, soil uh, especially in water, colonize plants and animals. As the external environment plays a substantial role in spread of uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, the infection caused by these bacteria are referred to as saprognosis. <coughs> Despite the presence of Potent viral factor, Pseudomonas known as aeruginosa, rarely cause infection in immunocompetent host. In addition, the bacteria need a pre existing injury of skin and mucosal tissue and successful adherence and colonization, like in patients with violence, burns, traumas, and other lesions. So, Pseudomonas aeruginosa is not dangerous for healthy people without any wounds, but it can cause very strong hospital acquired disease. And post and bound disease. Pseudomonas aeruginosa infection evolves only in patients with the different injuries, implanted prosthetic devices, chronic surgical disease, and tumors with impaired local and system immunity of after immune suppression. These persons usually stay in hospital intensive care units and departments of surgery for a long time. Pseudomonas aeruginosa is a leading nosocomial pathogen covering about 15 of all hospital acquired infections. The most common source of uh, Pseudomonas aeruginosa associated nosocomial infection are the hospital microbial carriers, patients, medical personnel. The major transmission routes are airborne via contaminated aerosols or by direct contact. contact. Bacteria cause local and generalized infection process, including, including wound, separative infection, abscessing, plague mons with blue green purulent discharge, osteomyelitis, OTDs, meningitis, urinary tract infection. Several uh, disseminated infection results in sepsis with septic shock. Diagnosis The specimen obtained from wound. Microscopy reveals single gram negative road, but microscopy is only for um, in normally conditioned sterile specimen. Uh, microbial cultural isolation is the main, is a basic me method and performed in blood agar and selective media with antiseptics. Identification is based on the morphology, colonies with presence of characteristic pigments, biochemical and antigenic properties. Mm -hmm. Here you can see uh, the test of antibiotics uh, uh, susceptibility, and you can see that only two antibiotics show um, media, medial antibiotic sensitivity. So bacteria, all these antibiotics are not work. <clears throat> Treatment. As a standard of standard treatment regimen, carbapenems are applied in combination with respiratory fluoroquinolones, levofloxacin. <coughs> <coughs> also, anti pseudomonad cephalosporins, cefipium, and aminoglycosides, amicacin, can be administered. Multi resistant strain of Pseudomonas aeruginosa are cured with polymyxin E or cholestine about 
uh, 95% of strain remains sensitive. Specific treatment with anti pseudomonas immunoglobulin is possible. So that's all. Thank you for attention. If you have any questions, you can ask me and WhatsApp.